Hello and welcome to Typhoon Hill tutorial. Today with me is our engineer Preda Kreja and he will be presenting tutorial for today. So can you tell us what exactly we are going to cover? I just want to make this uh, quick tutorial on how to how to uh, export the FMU files from Simulink and how to import it in our tool chain and then to use the FMI um, component itself and uh, what is used for and how it's how everything is done. So I won't um, go too into details about what the FMI is. I'll just say that it stands for Functional Mockup Interface and it's used uh, to like a um, standardized API uh, between uh, simulations exported from different tools. So you can export simulation from one tool, import it in another, and use this uh, standardized API to call the functions for for a step for, to set up uh, variables, to read variables, etc. So um, this is the component itself in our tool chain. It, it can be found under extra simple processing extra, extras in FMU import. Uh, here's the dialog where you choose a file and uh, everything else is filled uh, depending on the file. I'll show you that later. So I want to show you the functionality on the example of our induction machine open loop control where I'll uh, create this um, control in Simulink, export it as an FMU file and import it in, in our toolchain. So um, I'll, I'll, I'll go quickly in the, in the Simulink and show you everything. So uh, first of all, uh, Simulink does not, uh, from starting from this year, they added the support for FMI, built-in support for FMI but uh, previous versions do not have it, so I'm using the uh, MATLAB uh, 2017B and using the FMI kit library to, uh, to add support for FMI. Um, so you need to download this FMI kit, e extract it and, and uh, use it, but it, uh, also you will need MinGW um, support for MATLAB uh, also uh, in also uh, the CMake and I'll create the already created the uh, word file where every, every library is linked and uh, uh, explained how to step by step how to uh, set up everything so I already did it and I won't uh, do it in this tutorial so let's say I everything is set up so uh, first first thing that you need to do once you get, uh, once you open the, the Simulink, you need to initialize the FMI kit uh, tool. So you need to add the um, path to the exported, uh, extracted FMI kit library to the system path using this add path uh, function, and then uh, FMI initialize. So I created this small script that does it uh, automatically. So if I run it, it will initialize the the FMI. Um, I already created the Simulink model of, of our uh, control for open loop uh, and here it is, it's basically the same as in, in our model and I'll just uh, navigate to it here so once I build the model there won't be any er errors just a second mm. okay so uh, once you create the model, uh, maybe the most important part is to create these inputs and outputs uh, in, in Simulink. Uh, these inputs and outputs are like the interface to the simulation uh, exported from, from Simulink and it will be uh, these inputs will be uh, the terminals in our FMI component as well as this output will be an output to, so you can connect the signal processing to it. Uh, so once you create these terminals, uh, you can start building uh, building the model. So before you before you build the, the model, you first need to specify the solver and and um, some uh, some additional stuff, and you can do it uh, using the model configuration parameters. And uh, the important part is to for solver to select the fixed step solver. Uh, I put the solver uh, as auto and uh, fixed step size like to specify something I put here like 100 microseconds. And in code generation, 
uh, you need to specify uh, by default the system target file is the grt.tlc I believe so you need to select the FMI so grt FMI uh, which comes uh, with the FMI kit tool so once you select it click OK and it will create this window where you specify the C language and also you need to select the objective either debug or execution efficiency uh, and also there here is uh, additional some additional stuff that you, you can specify in FMI you can set up some additional level stuff uh, version must be 2 but this is all, all uh, default settings so I, I leave it as is and in CMake you need to specify the CMake generator and CMake command um, and once you download the uh, min gw and CMake you can you can specify the generator as main uh, gw make file and uh, CMake command uh, I just uh, copied the path to the CMake and this is all explained in the uh, in the word file so I, don't, I won't go into details but these two uh, files should be should be uh, modified. So all you need to do again is select fixed step solver, uh, set up the fixed step size, uh, change the system target, select objective, and uh, modify these two paths. So okay, click OK, and then uh, by either bar control B or called uh, build model, you can build the model. So here, if you view the diagnostics, we can see how the whole model is built. And every, if everything is, is fine, the FMU file will be created, which we can then import it in, in our software. So you can see it's linking the DLL file in, inside the, the FMU file, etc. Okay, so it prints out the, the log, and it, on the bottom it says build process completed successfully, and that's it. So in where, uh, here in the folder that I navigated, uh, this is created like the open loop control model dot FMU file, and this is what we'll use to, to import in, in our in our software. So if I go back to our software and to the model, um, you can see uh, I've, you, I've in, uh, added the inputs for frequency, mod index and uh, reference. So I'll delete everything except those components. So mod index, frequency and reference. So next thing I'll add the FMI component that is FMU import. I'll navigate to that file that I've created. So it's this one. I'll open it and you can see the the uh, all the tables that are filled and information. So here's the information about the simulation, uh, generation tools like FMI kit, simulink, blah blah blah. And here's the platforms that, that are supported. So C code, that means that the source code is included in the FMU file and uh, Win64 that's a DLL file for, for Windows so that is for virtual hill in our case. So um, four, like four uh, variables are specified here inputs that, that will create the input, uh, input terminals, outputs again the output terminal. Uh, the FMI itself uh, does not support vectors this uh, 2.0 2 version it will unwrap the the uh, vector with scholars however you want to call it uh, parameters uh, you can specify them as like a constant or if you want you can you can add uh, terminals for each of them and then connect signal I'll leave it uh, leave them as constants and uh, locals uh, there are no locals here but local is a local variable which you can uh, monitor but you cannot control so it, it's created like a probe inside a component that you can uh, select in, in SCADA or something so 
the most important part again you can uh, inputs you can always uh, again select them as as a constant but here we want to use them as variables and uh, that's it so you click ok the terminals are created and you just connect everything uh, I need uh, I'll use the bus join here for this Just turn it, turn on the hill. Okay, and that's that's basically it. You are ready to to compile and and do everything. So if I compile the model, I'm using 604, but it's also supported for 402, for 603, 404, and all the hills. Okay, so once the model is loaded, I'll just load the SCADA. Uh, this is the SCADA from the example, and just run the simulation. And you can see that everything is working as it should. If we turn it off, I mean, I don't, I don't have to explain this model to you. And that's that's basically it. So I I believe it's really straightforward. Just open the component select the file select inputs and outputs that you want to outputs you cannot select but inputs you can select which one do you want to control as well as parameters if you want to control them and that's it these parameter parameters and the locals are exported from simulink uh, automatically i don't know how to this you cannot control uh these are like constant value and something like that so simulink generates this from from their component but the locals i'm not sure how you can how you can specify but it's not that important for now um so these are the those uh inputs uh, that i created on simulink and output of, of reference and that's it this model is uh, basically added to the example here uh, there is an fmi import um folder where you can select the this basically this exact model and that's it i just want to um to inform uh to to notify that only like uh signal processing is is uh signal processing components are supported in simulink you cannot use like power power electronics or, or that stuff okay thank you kerja for this nice explanation let me then summarize what we have covered in this tutorial today Firstly, we gave a small introduction and explained what is FMI and where we can find its usage. Secondly, there was a quick FMU import component overview as well as an example introduction. After that, we explained how to set up and initialize FMI export tool in MATLAB. And finally, we exported FMU file from Simulink, imported it to Typhoon Hill model, compiled model and run the simulation. Hope you are going to find this tutorial useful and thank you for watching.